Let's talk tackle. to go through our some of our tackle not all of it uh, check out the hooks make sure the hooks are still good if not we're gonna go get some and uh, I got a tip for you on line slip on your bait caster I found out the hard way and I almost threw my reel away watch okay guys rule number one when you're doing a tackle prep video make sure you have the tackle to do the prep mine is elsewhere the six foot six medium heavy very inexpensive bass pro shop brand big casting setup as you see the last time I used it this what I was flipping but watch what happens it just slips right on the spool if you look real close here you see it's already set up barely turning now watch this spooled with 60 pound braid and I first noticed there was a problem when I was walleye fishing last summer I was trolling for walleye with this and I caught obviously a walleye I went to set the hook and it spun and I was like what's going on I thought I actually stripped the gears inside here so I thought it was trash I ended up switching to a different rod and reel and uh, obviously didn't have a problem got talking to some other people and I'm going to show you in a minute when I take the braid off of here, but you cannot put the braid directly onto a smooth spool reel. I'll show you that in a second. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now that the braid's off, you see we have a smooth spool. What happens is, is the braid has no bite, so it just continually slips on there. Good thing I didn't throw it away. How to fix that? A piece of tape. Okay, so there's two ways of attaching the braid. One is directly to the spool. The other one is to take about two feet of mono, tie it to the braid with a uni knot, then tie the mono to the spool then spool your reel therefore the mono will bite on the spool the other way the way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to take a piece of hockey tape and I'm going to use hockey tape because it's cloth based I'm going to tape the braid directly to the spool then I'm going to spool the reel and we'll see how that works hey right, guys what I got here is 20 pound suffix braid hockey tape so this is not the most ideal setup to spool a reel, but it's what I'm using today. Check out that, check out that crude contraption. Hey. Screwdriver, a little bit of tape. That'll work. Okay right, guys, I'm gonna show you real quick what I've done here. I've got my line spooled through the eyes. If you look real close, there's my piece of tape with the string taped to the back. Now that tape is going to stick and wrap around the spool, hence the grip. I mean, it's going to stick to the spool, but it's also going to provide grip on the outer side of the tape for the rest of the braid. Theoretically, my makeshift contraption of spooling this was an epic fail. All right, I talked Jen into helping me. She's going to hold the spool. I usually have to con her into holding the spool for me. But I think I'm going to make a line spooler. She's getting harder and harder to convince.
I've never used suffix braid before. I've always used pro wire, but this is what I happen to have. It's a 20 pound test. The diameter size of eight pound mono. Got it spooled up. Put, as you can see here, we have it on. Not quite to the top. And no slip. So it would appear that the little tape fix has fixed our problem. I'll worry about the trailer on the chatter bay later. Another job done. And I cannot do something without getting an injury. You see that small little speck of blood? There's a hole in there. Guess what fits in that hole? I'll take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Now that hook stick in my finger is nowhere near as bad as this one. I got that one the day before I was getting married out in the middle of Lake St. Clair and it was buried deep. Hope you enjoyed that tip tying the braid directly to a smooth spool using the tape or like I said you could use a strip of mono, strip, a piece of mono about 24 inches long. I chose the tape it seemed to be simpler. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit this hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, share the videos, we appreciate it. And uh, see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to enjoy the outdoors. See ya. Hope you enjoyed that tip about the braid to the spoon. Cool. I think I'm going to make a launch. Here she comes. Again, I got a problem talking. <laughs>